Let me show you a few things about our Linux labs that make them uh, desirable for learning Linux. One of the things about our labs is that each lab gives you a scenario, gives you some troubleshooting or something that you need to accomplish in the lab. So you have a goal that needs to be accomplished. And then at the end of the lab, you can click on the score lab and it will tell you how it's how it was how you did whether you've accomplished the things that the scenario gave you or not and it gives you some feedback and how you can go about that one of the other things that is great about our linux labs is that we've integrated them into the office environment so the linux computers are part of a full network and they have the full capability of the network in this particular lab we have you troubleshoot the network and i'll show you a couple of things about that really quickly um, First, let's show you the exhibits button up here. It gives you the information about how the network is set up, and you can see the information about the, the typical IP addresses. This is the gateway and some of the IP addresses that are on the network. Um, to troubleshoot in this lab, we'll go to the support computer and we'll try some of the typical troubleshooting tools like ping 192.168.0.5 is our, our gateway address. If you'll notice, we're not getting anything from the gateway address. So we'll go ahead and cancel that. In the lab, we can go to the hardware view of the computer. So we'll click on support office and it opens up a, a view where we can see the computer and the actual box. We can look at the back of the box and we can see that, that the link light is blinking. It means that it has a network connection to the switch. If we disconnect this, the link light will go away and it no longer is blinking. If we plug it back in, then we have a link light and a connection. And that's all tied to the operating system. Let's go back into the operating system and we'll quickly take a look at the configuration of the IP adapter. We'll do, uh, we simulate nano. And we're gonna go to the ETC folder. And in the ETC folder, sysconfig. And in that there's a network scripts folder and in there is the configuration file for our ENP2S1 adapter. And if you'll notice it's got the wrong IP address so we're going to come down here and change that. Give it the 192.168 address that it's supposed to have. Same for the broadcast address. We'll do a control O to write that out and a control X to exit. And we'll bring the link up and down to let it take on that new configuration. It's link, IP link set, and then the name of the adapter, ENP2S1. We're gonna bring it down and then we'll bring it back up. And now we should be able to ping our gateway 192. 168.0.5. The ping is successful. If we do an IF config, you'll see that the correct address and the correct broadcast address are now assigned to this. So in this lab, we, we've been given a troubleshooting scenario that we have to figure out. We solve the problem and then we get some feedback on the scenario as to how we did by clicking the score lab button. So let's go ahead and click score lab. And you'll see that of the three things that we were supposed to troubleshoot in this lab, we've successfully accomplished the first one. And it lets us know that we've successfully accomplished that. And the lab report also gives us some information as to how we could have gone about doing that if we didn't do it successfully. So that scenario and the grading to tell you how you've done is one of the, the key features of uh, our Linux labs that, that you don't get with just playing on a Linux system yourself.